Up with the Wolf on PIX 106. You know, we just got a call from Crazy Pete about chemtrails. And yep. he, he, he said that this is going to be one of the uh, worst days for chemtrails. And we all just went outside and looked up in the sky. It is creepy. It is really creepy. There, I mean, there's I'm got to be. I'm looking at three rows right now There, there is window. three rows there. There's another three going across the other way. There's three in the back coming over. Right. So does that mean that there's going to be more bad weather? Well, Crazy Pete's on the phone. Peter. Hey, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, this All is, right. what's going on? Fill us in. All right. So, thank, I'm, I'm glad you guys put me through for my fellow non-chem trail believers because now, now, it's, now you're seeing the obvious. Yesterday, total cleanup, fill tanker day. We're watching the map. The, air, the, the fires that are burning in Arizona, they use the... Um, they use the uh, jet stream. They bent that around, and that makes that area even hotter. I don't know if that's got to do with anything. All right, first but now of all, it's, now it's our turn again. Let's get back. To, let's get back to the basics. What exactly is a chemtrail? All right, a, chem, <laughs> a chemtrail is. Hey. What, what's and what's in the chemtrails? Yeah, what is it? I mean, okay, you, I'm, it, look, it, I'm, I'm looking. Yeah, at, we it, see these lines. But yeah, what the are lines they? in the right. sky. What are they? All right. The argument is that these are contrails and their water and, and stuff is sprayed out by regular commercial airlines. These are sprayed, and if you watch them, they'll make, they'll make the line across the sky, and then you'll see these things disperse, and your nice blue day, all right, your nice blue sky day will turn into a complete sheet of white barium aluminum metal spray. That's what this is. It's going to block out your, your sunny day, and it's going to do what it's doing right now. What, what? And this, this is this is this is all over the U.S. This isn't just my phone call. No, but, but why? I my question is this: yeah. Why is this being done? Number one, and also when I looked up HARP, okay, yeah, it said that it was airplane emissions. Is that? Are you saying that it's some government deal? Well, let me let me just say this too. And if you're driving and you see these chemtrails. Yeah. Just so you know, we're not nuts. Give us a call yeah. and tell us what you see. Four seven six nine seven nine nine. Lovey just went outside and took a picture. I walked uh -huh. outside, and I am I am very always very skeptical right. about what Crazy Pete says. I always thought he was like insane, uh, but I'm uh, believing. Uh, uh, wait a minute. I, I'm trying to set you up with the facts. I yeah. went, right. uh, wait a minute. I went outside, and I counted no fewer than fifteen. Wow! I just yeah. can see three from where I'm sitting in, in the sky, and yeah. I have never seen that many. And then there was a, a plane going over mm -hmm. at about thirty five, thirty six thousand feet, and you mm -hmm. could see the chemtrail coming right out of the plane. Now. What what is people will tell you? I mean, you know, they'll say, "Wait a minute, that's just jet engine emissions." Right? Absolutely How not. How can it be that bad? Crisscross the way that it is. I've never look at, seen it like just that look, either. Just look at just look at the patterns. The way they sync these up, they're GPS in a laser guided line in the sky to make these. They have to cover certain areas. There's only so much, almost so much dispersant that they can use. So they're like, "All right, today." Here and then we don't see what goes on in Boston. We don't see what goes on in New York. These are other other fleets of spraying going on, and this is just covered. It's just a constant bombardment of this stuff. All right, hang on, what? hang on, Tim. What do you see? Dude, I gotta be honest with you. I, I just came out of the mountains, and I look. There, there must be 20, 20 airplane lines everywhere. Everywhere. Why? I swear to God, I'm like in Brunswick right now. I'm like. As he's talking about it, all this—it's all up in the sky. I mean, you know, I mean, Tim, have you ever seen it like this? I haven't. Uh, it looks kind of weird. I gotta say that. Now, yeah, and you guess what? You're breathing it in. So are your plants. So is your water. It's all good. Hopefully, I get, hopefully, I get high from it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I wish they were spraying. I wish they were spraying some that you can get high. You know, this isn't that a good high. Nice. What, are, what is it for? What are they spraying? Thanks, Tim. Man, appreciate it. What are they spraying, Pete? And what is the purpose? It, what, see, that's the big question. What is it for? This is such an underground operation that nobody can really put their finger on what it's for. But I'll tell you what, I saw a map where they, and I actually sent it to you guys. I don't know if you looked at it. It said follow the hurt, the, the storm was following these chemtrails. Before this storm was whipping off, I think it was off of uh, Puerto Rico, they had, you could see the lines on the radar, you know, 20, 30 lines. And then the storm actually steers its way into it, so it's kind of like it might be a marking device, and then they can 
um, use that harp system to bend that air and then make those storms follow the way. Because then you can mark where the, the lines are going in the, in the air and the weather. But why would, well, first of all, let's take Brian. Brian, what are you seeing and where are you? Hi, I'm down here in Cairo, and uh, my sky down here is almost already completely covered. There you go. Wow. Bye-bye, <laughs> blue sky. Bye. Operation. Uh, it's probably cause for population control in the long run. causing. I love it. I love it, man. Tell him. In that uh, heart program, I looked up about that a lot. That's creating holes in the ionosphere, cre- uh, changing everything. It's going to screw up everything. So you're seeing, you see about 20 chemtrails where you are in Cairo. Oh, at least. Or at K- least. Cairo, as we like to say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm yeah. seeing about that right here. Thanks, Brian. Let's see what else people now, is it? On. Are you saying that this is going to be a, a, a tornado coming here? No. That, it's, it's, no, I'm, I'm saying if you really check, if you check out what's going on, and you know what's great about this show, now there's how many people that are going to be looking up all day, and I've been harping on this chemtrail thing for like five years. As soon as you start looking up and you start questioning this, mm-hmm. you're like, wait a minute, I drove to work and it was blue sky suntan. But by noon... No sun again, no plants will be growing, no, and I mean, this is going to fog this out to where it's like, and then you don't notice it, you're like, wow, it's kind of a gloomy white day. Yeah, it's I, not gloomy white, it's poison, it's sprayed poison. Pete, I looked outside before, and I said, look how sunny it is, today's going to be a beautiful day, and then all of us, remember that earlier? <laughs> yeah. And now, and also at home, my wife bought two hanging plants, right? She goes, yeah. I water each of them, the same thing, why is one of them dying? Could that do? It doesn't like you. Yeah, it, it's weird that it's don't want to hang, All right, hang on. Chad, where are you and what do you see? Uh, hi, I'm in Glens Falls and Queensbury, right on the border. Okay. And I've got blue skies in Glens Falls with a few lines, and over Queensbury is like 20, 30 lines. Wow. And it's yeah, gray. man. Yeah, man. This is right on. I, now, I, can, even, I can even guess now what days are going to be ridiculously like today's going to be. I haven't seen Pete this happen. This is like Pete's porn. I know he's excited. Yeah, you know now, Chad. Oh, I, I got I got it out right in the truck right now. Video camera. You know I don't need anything else but this because you know what my family thinks I'm nuts. I mean most of the capital land probably thinks I'm nuts, and they're like, dude, why do you spend time on this? And I spent five years on this, but now it's almost like a ha. Ah, you know what I mean? There you go. You uh, explain it. Now, yeah. Chad, have you ever seen anything like this in the sky the way it is right now? No, no, I, you know, I'm, I'm, when you guys started talking about it, I'm looking around for planes and stuff, and I saw one plane that was coming from, like, the Queensbury Airport. Yeah. And, and then I started looking around, and I pulled into a McDonald's, and they're everywhere. Everywhere. And I'm sitting, like, right on the border of Glen Falls and Queensbury, and there's one cross that goes, like, uh, north-south, and another one that goes east-west, like, yeah. right on the border. It's weird. It says it causes rhinositis, congestion, and all kinds of weird stuff. You Chad. go, Ellen. Well, I have. Chad, <laughs> thank you. Go, you. Ellen. All right, Noel. Hey, picture this. Well, picture this. Let's say in the, in the event somehow somebody wants to spray, like, let's just say population control. Everything's going a little wacky, and mm-hmm. you can't control what, you know, money, everything flushes down the toilet. If this was some kind of uh, bio warfare or anything like that, how fast would it take to cover, say, New York State? Not, not much. Not uh, much. Noel, where are you right now, and what do you see? I am in Malta, and I see lines clear across the sky. I'll tell you, it's not the first time I've seen it. Not mm-hmm. the first time I've heard of it. I used to think my brother was a kook because he can be a bit of a conspiracy theorist. Yeah. But um, it is so deliberate and it is so disgusting how they will lie to our faces and tell us it's just emissions from planes when they're deliberate X's in the skies and yep. lines. Just, you know, it's just, it's crazy. I don't know why we can't, you know, do something about it, but I hate how that everybody thinks, you know, the general public is just ignorant. You know, of. you know, Pete, we're going to have to take crazy off your name if you keep this up. <laughs> oh, you can leave it on there now. It's on the fan page. I wish everybody would make it, make a comment because I'm going to plaster that thing with chemtrail information. There's already some on there. Yeah, but you I'm could, on... yeah, you could get to. Uh, we have a, a, a Facebook page up which has got all sorts of information on it uh, that you can get via pix106.com. We got a link to it right there. Uh, John, you're up. Where are you? What do you see? Uh, I'm in uh, Adams, Massachusetts, and I see a ton of freaking lines over here. Some of them look like H's, some of them look like T's. Yeah, that's what we've seen. Yep. That's, uh, you see the coverage they're getting? The coverage isn't, okay, I'm, I'm at the Rexford Bridge. 
Oh, there, there we go. There's tankers just annihilating right, I'm right on, right by the Rexford Bridge. It's just pouring. And I want to know this. I want to know where the funding's coming for all this, all this goo. And I also send photos and movies of what's in these chemtrail tankers. It's scary to even look at. Duke, where are you, and what do you see? Duke, you're up. Um, actually, I see a bunch of lines, but I just saw a plane making a new one south of Saratoga. Looking to the Dude. southern sky, they're making a new one. Yeah. I saw... This is this is great, man. Mobile chemtrail watch from people all over the place. Thank you, God. Yeah, they're uh, not... Look, there's a couple... There's maybe one or two planes up there, but there is so many lines. There's no way that planes can crisscross like that. Right. There's no way that they would I do mean, that. I don't uh, think our airport's that busy that they're, uh, they're uh, flying out at that rate. I thought I saw Courtney Love trying to snort uh, the... <laughs>